Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Save the Planet here on Magnificent Monday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life's good. Anyway, this is going to be a quickie. I've done several today. Uh, I have more than one uh, channel as well. This is like my fifth video today. I'm a lean, mean video machine, baby. Anyway, this is a response to the uh, Zion Williamson and Luka Doncic uh, uh, videos I did last week. Now, again, please, 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 guys, keep in mind, I am not fat shaming. I am not in any way, shape, or form. Uh, my father was overweight his whole life. Uh, I am very, very lucky in that... I have never been overweight a day in my life. Probably I was so cognizant of it because of my father. Um, he died younger than he should have of diabetes and complications from heart disease and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I work in this business, guys. I have clients whose life is in tatters because of the nonsense that's going on out there. So I, do, I don't fat shame. The only time that I let people have it is when people try to push a false, unhealthy narrative on people and they don't, they don't walk the talk. They're themselves overweight and they're pushing supplements and all that. And I, I don't have any patience for that at all. In that case, I will go out of my way to say, you know, get your, get your house in shape before you, you tell us what to do. But this is not the case here at all. I work with a lot of athletes. And I want every athlete to succeed. And we have two guys here, extraordinary, freak of nature basketball players, Zion Williamson and Luka Doncic, who are having severe physical problems due, if not completely, but certainly to a large degree because they are way overweight. Now, Zion Williamson, Blew his knee out, meniscus tears. I'm not going to go through the whole thing that I did on the other uh, video. But it just came out over the weekend that his whole rehab has been put back a month due to setbacks. Now, what he is recuperating from is a broken foot this summer. Now, the Memphis Groovies have been very, very mum. They didn't say how it happened. They didn't say what foot, they didn't go about it. All of a sudden there's been sightings of um, Zion Williamson being morbidly obese in national television commercials. There was, uh, he was just earlier last week, he was seen on the court just standing still shooting jumpers and he was at least 320 to 350 pounds. Guys, he should be, especially with the meniscus, he should be carrying no more than 50. 250. And that is not out of the realm of possibility. That's not starving him. That's nothing. But guys, his career is on is in trouble here. I don't know if he broke his foot or if they he just can't. He's just eating himself out of the NBA. Um, either way, a broken foot and a meniscus tear does not help to have a hundred pounds overweight that you are putting to bear on those joints. It's, it's terrible. Luka Doncic has ankle issues all of a sudden and he's gonna miss multiple games. Guys, he's another one that is a minimum 50 pounds overweight. And guys, if you have ankle issues, no matter what it is, tendons, a sprain, a bone chip, whatever the case may be, it does not help to be morbidly obese and overweight. Not to mention, guys, the diets these two have to be eating have got to be exorbitantly inflammatory. And when you are talking with issues with joints and whatnot, you cannot afford to have inflammation and, and you know, tendonitis and arthritis and everything setting in in these joints. And guys, those are, anything with itis after it means inflammation. That comes from diet for the most part. 
it comes from diet. Now, again, I don't wish these two ill. I think they're extraordinary athletes. I, I think uh, they're, it's all in front of them. If they take care of themselves and they go true power, they've got another 15 years of complete and total dominance. And it could be, you know, a Magic and Larry Bird type of thing of the future. But it's not going to happen this way. It is not going to happen this way. I would do two things. For both of them, I would do the exact same thing. I would immediately put them on a juice cleanse. That would get rid of weight immediately. And a lot of it. If they went a month, if they went 60 days, they would be down 50 pounds. No problem. Zion probably even more. Okay? Then, and guys, it's not like their life has to stop. It's not like they have to wait until the off season to do that. Quite the opposite. They are going to feel better immediately. Now, for somebody like them, somebody that big, I usually say for men, 2,500 to 3,000 calories of juice. They should probably get up around 5,000 calories of juice. Now, in the, um, the amount of money they make, guys, they can get somebody to do it for them. They can have somebody just show up at their, their, play, their house every single morning and either drop juice off or go into their kitchen and make the juice for them. Every single day. It would be silly. It would be a dry, it would be a pittance of the money that it would take, and it would absolutely 100% turn their career around. Then I would morph them over onto a diet, a maintenance diet, once they get through with the cleanse, of meat, I'm sorry, fruits, veggies, corn, rice, peas, potatoes. The True Power Diet, Tier 1 and Tier 2. It's a three-tier diet, and it is in the True Power um, Total Body Book, if, you want, if you're interested in it. That is what I would do, and 20 minutes a day of kettlebell. 20 minutes a day of kettlebell. Anything else is going to hurt those joints. They can't run. They can barely walk, you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit of bike. Uh, it would take an extreme bike because they're both so big. But get some cycling. Stationary bike is just so boring. I have one over here, and if I ever get on it again, I, it will be too soon. Absolutely, 20 minutes to a half an hour kettlebell, that's all it takes. A cleanse, and then a fruit and vegetable-based diet with augmented with corn, rice, peas, potatoes. Guys, if they did that for the next 15 years, you would forget about LeBron James. These guys, these two are that good. That's what I would do. Anyway, eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all.